good morning, everyone. I'm just feeling glad to encourage you all this morning with a word of encouragement, followed by a song that I wrote. At the beginning over the summer, I was sitting on my front porch, and I just began to play this melodic progression over and over again. And I feel over the course of 2021 that God has made this a song about redemption and about his undying love for us. Because sometimes we can get caught in patterns of sin. Sometimes we get caught in these patterns of our flesh. And sometimes the, the feet and the guilt and the shame that comes with that causes us to stay in those patterns. And we feel like no matter how hard we try, we feel like we're defeated. And that's because without Jesus, we are defeated. Without faith in what he's done, without faith in his righteousness, without looking upon his goodness and his love for us, we will be defeated. But Jesus went to Calvary and he died on the cross and gave us the power and the grace to overcome our cross that we should daily be bearing and walking to die to ourselves. And so I'm going to share a passage of scripture with you this morning. And I want you to know this song was written and inspired from the scriptures. It's out of Micah chapter 7, 18 through 19. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea.
I pray and I hope you were blessed by the song this morning. And I pray that you would just make that personal. Make those lyrics personal between you and the Lord. God bless you all and I love you all. Have a great day. Hey, Lord bless Awaken family. Um, by the time you're seeing this, it's going to be Christmas. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Merry Christmas. Um, you know, I'm just reading about fear a lot. Um, just in general. I was going to read something, but I'm not. Uh, and I just want to give you guys a word of encouragement because I've been going through the fear myself, fear of evangelizing, fear of just realizing that the devil has tried to put spirits of fear in my life. And God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of sound mind. And <clears throat> he's commanded us to go into all the world and to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, what I want you guys to do is to step out, um, not in not in fear, but in faith, knowing that the Lord will be with you. Just read the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter. He told Jeremiah, don't be afraid. Don't say I'm so young. You're going to speak for me. And he said, if you're afraid of these people, I'll make you look like a fool in front of them. So I'm just challenging you guys today. Don't be afraid. Go evangelize. Go do what the Lord has called you to do. Find your flame and fan it. Um, anyway, yes, find your flame and fan it. Um, Lord bless you guys. I pray you had a great and Merry Christmas. There's a voice that calls life from unexpected places. Barren lands will flourish with new creation. There's one who is searching for the pure in heart, waiting to find those who will trust. So what choice will you make? Because it may feel like choosing between life and death. Take her as your wife. But look closer. All he has ever offered us is life. Messiah. God has come to the most unlikely people, urging them to follow, asking them to trust. The stories have been told for centuries. The wait is nearly over. Today, our Savior is born to bring light into dark places, to be the voice in the wilderness, to call you to come home, to bring joy to the world. God has chosen you and he does not make mistakes. God's timing is not our timing. His love is not our love. He's turned his love into flesh and blood and for that we rejoice. Emmanuel, so don't wait, don't pack, don't plan, just go. There is a world lost and hungry. There is a world lonely and wandering. And he has called us to go and tell them. Go and tell them what God is doing. Go and tell them that God is coming. Go and tell them. God is here. Hey, good morning, Awaken Church. Uh, glad you're joining us here online today. I know it's the day after Christmas, and uh, you probably got a lot going on and different things, or maybe you don't have a whole lot going on, and you're just relaxing there in your living room or wherever you might be. But hey, uh, I'm just uh, so thankful for Emmanuel and Bailey and Dave uh, for sharing, and um, I'm just thankful for our church and for what God wants to do in the, the days and the months and the years ahead. Amen. And so uh, why don't we sing this song together? We're going to sing a couple songs just to worship God together. Uh, we're going to sing uh, Won't Stop Now because God isn't going to stop at the end of 2021. Amen? He's moving us forward into 2022, and we're believing for great things. So sing along if you can, and let's just enjoy the presence of the Lord together. Amen. And 
And I give you glory for all you brought me through. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. I'm moving forward to follow after you. And now I'm Hello, Awakening family. I hope you are doing great. This morning, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and also encourage you. Bible says that when the angel visited Mary, he said, Woman, you are highly favored. And I know, as children of God, we are also highly favored. I believe that 2021, we went through some difficult moment. But I know that 2022, the favor of the Lord will be seen upon our life. And whatever that we could not do in 2021, 2022, God will give us the grace, the power to go through. I want to pray for you this very morning. Father, I bless your people. I thank you for their lives, O oh God. I present them before thee. As we celebrate it, Jesus, Jehovah Elohim, let your grace be upon your people. Let your grace be upon this church. In Jesus' mighty name, open doors. Doors of breakthrough in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. God will bless you. Thank you so much for your support to our Assemb uh, Awakening Assembly. And we will always continue to bless you with messages. God bless you. Bye-bye. Get the band back together. Get the symphony. Get the children's choir. Get the high school marching band. And the dancers. Don't forget the dancers. We're going to play a new song. All of us. Everyone. 
This will be God's song. It's part of him and it's been given to us. And we will sing it from the tallest buildings. It will be the greatest song of all. We will sing it when we are low. We will sing it when we are on a mountain. It is a song of the universe from its beginning to the present moment. Now, this moment. And it will go on forever because God goes on forever. This is God's song. God the creator, God the good, God the just, God who brushes his opposers off like dust from his shoulders, God the mighty and God the merciful. People will sing this song. People will dance to this song. No critics allowed. They will be stopped dead in their tracks. Their words will be turned against them because today, today we will sing. Today the baby is born. Today the angels break forth. Today darkness cowers in the corner. Today wrongs are righted. Prophecies are fulfilled. Wounds are healed. The hungry stomachs are filled. Today we all get adopted. Today Jesus comes to earth. Yes, Jesus the Messiah. And this is the song we sing. This song will heal the world. This song is the song of our Savior. He is born. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is born. Hey Awaken, it's Pastor Todd here again. Just wanted to give you a quick word of encouragement moving into 2022 um, and finishing out 2021. Uh, but first of all, I, I expect or hope that you had an awesome Christmas, that you were surrounded by friends and family, or if not, at least you were able to sit back and relax and rest and maybe laugh a little bit, drink a little eggnog like myself, eat some eat some Christmas cookies. and But even more than that, I, I trust that you were able to reflect upon the true gift of Christmas, the primary gift of Christmas who is Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the crazy times in which we live, there is nothing more important than to put our faith and put our feet on the solid rock of our salvation, the hope that we have in Christ. He is what this nation needs. He is what we need. He is what the world needs. Jesus Christ, our Savior. He truly is the good news of this, of this season and of each one of our lives. And so we put our hope in that, right? As we move into 2022. But oftentimes, sometimes people just rely on their optimism, you know? So people are saying, you know what? I did my best leading up to 2022. I've done my best in 2021. I gave it a pretty good shot. You know what? I'm just going to try harder next next year. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to be tenacious and I'm going to try my hardest. And I'm just going to keep keep getting better. Or some of you might be looking at 2021 and saying, I'm not quite where I thought I was going to be. Made a lot of mistakes. And you know what? Ha, man, and you're the pessimist of the of the group. And you're just saying, you know what? I, I, I got to do something completely different. This just this just ain't working for me anymore. This 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 the, the, the track that I'm on, the race that I'm on, I just I just got to give up. Or maybe you're the realist and you're looking at this thing and you're saying, well, you know what? It is what it is, right? But the reality is, is hope isn't built on your optimism or your pessimism. Biblical hope is not founded or built on the circumstances in which we find ourselves. But it's built upon the person of Jesus Christ. Hope is rooted deeply in faith, not in religion or a set of beliefs, but rather in a person, in a relationship. Hope is rooted in someone bigger than your circumstances. Look at Paul in 2 Corinthians 4. He says, I was hard pressed on every side. That means everything coming against him. Every obstacle, every circumstance was pressing against him. Everywhere he turned, something was coming against him. And yet he says, I'm not crushed. Think about, he says this, I'm perplexed. That's when it's like, I, 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 if I go this way or that way, I'm not sure if I go backwards or forwards, I'm not sure what to do. And he, I'm just perplexed in my spirit. And he says, but yet I'm not without despair. 
How could he be saying these things? He says, I'm persecuted, but I'm not struck down. Or I'm, I'm persecuted, but I'm not forsaken. I'm struck down, but I'm not destroyed. How does he say these things? How does he have this resolve in his spirit that no matter what's coming against him, he still has faith. He still has hope because he says, I'm always caring about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus so that the life of Jesus might be manifested. Therefore, we do not lose heart. That's what he says in 2 Corinthians 4. See, hope is rooted, again, in someone bigger than the circumstances of your life. N.T. Wright says, faith is looking at God and trusting him for everything, while hope is looking at the future and trusting God for it. See, God's past faithfulness motivates us with hope for the future. When we look at the faithfulness of God through 2021 and even before, when we look at his faithfulness, his proven character, we can have unshakable confidence that God can be trusted and that he's always at work for our good. We don't presume upon this, but we anticipate it. We expect it. Hope makes room and prepares the heart for the future that God has for us. It creates a landscape for a miracle. Some of you are looking for a miracle in 2022, a sign, a wonder. It removes the barriers that keep us from seeing God. It sets the stage for God to do his indescribable acts of goodness in our lives. Hey, so the roof is now on the building, and uh, just um, I I haven't actually seen it completed yet with the metal on, but want to give out a shout of appreciation to Tom Rood and Jim Morrissey and the board for their continued efforts and um, determination to really take care of this building, um, so that each one of us can come and worship God together in a safe and in a in a well. Uh, taking care of facility. Also want to thank all of you who have given, who have supported this ministry, who allows things like this to happen and God's faithfulness working through each one of you. So be blessed. I thank you and I know that the board appreciates you and thanks you as well. Um, want to make an announcement that uh, this coming Friday, which is New Year's Eve, we're going to have a special service of testimonies and so um, it's going to be in person at 7 o'clock Friday night, uh, New Year's Eve, right there at the church. So come on out, share a testimony, bring a testimony of how God has been good to you, His faithfulness, and what you're hoping for in 2022. So with that, be blessed, and uh, I hope to see each of you on uh, Friday for New Year's Eve. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day.